Dear parents, Namaskar. I am Ravi Kiran from Team KOS. Today I am privileged to talk about Kakatiya Olympiad question paper pattern. You must have seen question paper in recently conducted formative assessment and fortnight exams. And many parents have still queries on why these changes. Before I talk about why these change, let me tell you that most of the students who are getting 95% in the school and college, but still they are struggling to clear some of the competitive exams like IIT, NEET, civil service or any government jobs. So when we try to un understand what's the problem they are facing, we could able to understand that they are missing one some of the important things that are needed like conceptual understanding, critical and logical thinking and out of box thinking. When students could able to learn these skills, these would be helpful for them in the future competitive exam and future difficult scenarios. So before I talk about a question, question paper, let, me let, let us understand what are the changes that happened in this year's question paper. When we look at the previous year question paper, we can see that questions were taken from after the lesson. And when we look at 24, 25 and coming years question paper, we would be seeing a dramatic change. The change that we see is, we can see some textual questions, logical and critical thinking questions and out of box questions. We can see in this year's question paper. Now, let's get into detail about what are, how the question paper is designed. When we look at this year's and the coming year's question paper, we can see there is part A and part B. And part A is like after lesson questions, generally like question and answers, meanings and other bits. When it comes to part B, we have divided into three parts here. Again, in part B, we have divided three things. Like first one is textual reading. Let's understand what is this textual reading. Textual reading is you get a question from middle of the lesson. The student need to be thoroughly understanding the concepts of the lesson and he should listen to the class very clearly. Then the student is able to answer these questions of textual reading. Now let's talk about inside development. Basically inside development is the student need to be critically thinking about a topic and he should be able to answer a different scenario. For example, if we give him a situation to imagine that and interpret an answer, the student need to think in that way. I will give you a small example of questions, how it is framed in inside development. <clears throat> so these are some of the examples of questions. Here, these are the basic level question, moderate level question and the advanced level question where we give in our inside development. In this inside development part, we will be giving this kind of a questions. We can see here, imagine you are an astronaut observing earth from space. Explain how earth's rotation on its axis impact the day and night cycle that you can see from the spacecraft. So this is a kind of a making the student to think deeper. So that is what it is. The inside development develops the student to think deep about the concept. And the final one is learn your way or design thinking. In this learn your way or design thinking, generally from the topic of the lesson, the students will be given some kind of a puzzles and riddles. The students need to search answers from the given puzzles and riddles. So we, are, we have given all these kind of things in part B. This kind of a thinking will help the student to answer the questions in future where they are going to face these kind of a tough competitive exams. Now, let's more understand more how to prepare for this uh, part B, especially the part B, how the students will, students will prepare and how the parents will, how the parents will <coughs> train the students. The methodology we have designed. So the methodology of preparing part B is, we have Acharya day. Every 15 days, the students will be given a topic. They have to go and find out the uh, topic, they have to read the topic in detail and come to the school with the project work or chart work and present in front of the class. So this Acharya day will help the students to be prepared for the part B uh, of the question paper and also we have Google it. After every lesson, 
once concept is taken and the student need to go and do some googling i mean they have to, they have to search and they have to know more and more about it and try to write down the points that they have learned from googling next is the blueprint before the exams before three or one week uh, one week or three days before the exams the students will be given with a blueprint for part a we will give the marks allocation how many marks we are dividing and how the question paper pattern will be it is given the blueprint and for part b whichever topic we are going to give the three things whatever i have explained so uh, this thing will be there clearly in the blueprint if the parents are preparing the students and students are preparing according to the acharya day google it and blueprint they will be ready to face the question paper pattern created by the kakatiya so the <coughs> information to parents is the parents need to encourage the students and make them uh, prepare for the acharya day and also make them search different solution and answers for related topic so <coughs> other than that make them think real time thinking and out of box thinking so that is the vision of kakatiya olympiad school now when we look at this question paper the brain the brain behind this question paper we will come to know that this question paper is designed with lot of thought and lot of critical and logical thinking and will make the student that will make uh, will make the student to uh, will make the student to think beyond the box and out of box thinking so that they will be ready to face the exams in the future where many students are facing so i hope the parents understood the concept and the brain behind preparing this new question paper pattern of kakatiya olympiad school i hope you understand the concept that i explained and you'll uh, help the student prepare for the exams thank you have a great day